Tonight we celebrate Cilla Black's remarkable 50 years in show business. We go back to where it all began. We were all young kids together and we loved it here. Blind Date is back for one night only. I give talks on the Jack the Ripper murder. Well, no wonder you're still singing. <laughs> to call it a day all the way back then, right? But how would you feel if I asked you to take to the blind date stage for one more time? You fancy it? <laughs> We've rebuilt the old stage for you. You've got your old screen, your cards are all over there, it's all ready to go. You're cooking with gas. Go on, you better see it was standing okay. on your head. Well, I'll give it a go. <laughs> One last time only. Off you go, Cupid. Go on, and let's see if you got that magic touch. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, for one night only, blind date. Here is your host, Miss Cilla Black. to blind date. Do you know, I never thought I'd be able to say that again. Yeah. Now we're missing some single men, so bring on the boys! Hello, <laughs> well, I say boys, but I use the term loosely, like very loosely. <laughs> and I'm going to say the immortal words. Hello, number one. What's your name and where'd you come from? Hello, Silla. My name's John from Leeds. <laughs> Hi, John. Well, just let's remind ourselves what you looked like all those years ago. You got your bongo, and I've got my set of bongos. <laughs> Let's get we can go bonky. <laughs> now, you went away with the lovely Caroline, didn't you? I did, you? yeah. Didn't get off to a really good start, it did it? It didn't really, no. I didn't, Why? Bring, I didn't bring any toothpaste with me. And for, <laughs> for three days, I didn't brush my teeth. <laughs> Give me a kiss to her. I don't know oh. why. I don't know why I kissed you tonight. <laughs> <laughs> now I remember you. Hello, <laughs> you are Andre, aren't you? Absolutely, Andre from London. <laughs> what do you do? I'm a ripperologist. Well, I give talks on the Jack the Ripper murders and do walking tours in London's East End. Well, no wonder you're still single. <laughs> Let's just remind ourselves what you looked like all those years ago. <laughs> what can you feel in your crystal ball tonight? A dark lady, possibly of foreign origin, and I really think they could be overseas travel. From Hereford! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> well, Andre, you got your exotic date. But where did you go on your date? Well, you know, Silla, on your show, people went all over the world. And yeah. uh, I was so lucky to get picked. And then we went to Chester. <laughs> Chester? <laughs> well, I wish you Laurel Law. Thank tonight. you very much. Tonight. And finally, last but not least, what's your name and where'd you come from, number Hello, three? Hello, Silla. My name's Jeff, and I'm from Cheshire. Yes, of course. <laughs> Just let's remind ourselves about your first blind date. If you get picked tonight, what are you hoping that lady beyond those screens will look like? Same as me with long hair. <laughs> well, Jeff, have you brought your little friend with you? Either that or you're He's fiddling with you, yourself. He's Silla. Oh. Easier. <laughs> Easier. Listen, I wish you a lot, a lot of luck. On tonight's blind date, I've got a gorgeous girl for you. Oh, Enjoy! Well, now, let's meet 
the lucky lady who's going to pick one of those three gorgeous guys. Come in, the lovely Laura. <laughs> date way back in 1987. Let's <laughs> remind ourselves what you look like. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm really sorry for you. I really do. <laughs> I don't know what you're yourself in for. <laughs> after that show, you became a bit of a celeb, didn't you? Uh, well, after the show, I went to a restaurant and a lady tapped me on the shoulder. Oh, right. Hello, I said. It's OK, it's me. <laughs> it's OK, you can touch me. It is actually me. <laughs> I know. And she went, no, your chair's on my husband's jacket. <laughs> what a shame, what a shame. Well, let's hope your questions are as good as that story that you just... <laughs> <laughs> Hello, boys. Hello, Laura. Hello, Laura. Hello, Laura. <laughs> OK, my question is... These days, I often sing at weddings, and if you're lucky, I might sing at ours. <laughs> and by Alexis, if someone requested a duet, <laughs> would you join me? And what would we sing? And that question to number two. Ooh. Well, why wait for the wedding and bar mitzvah? How about a song right now? Ooh. Ooh. I get no kick from champagne. Mere alcohol doesn't thrill me at all, so Ooh. tell me why should it be true that I get a kick out of you? <laughs> got a Michael Bublé in the making. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> OK, same question to number one. Hey, Laura. Hey, hello. Um, my name's John. <laughs> I'm enthusiastic. You go on a date with me, it'd be intergalactic. These two guys are pretty plastic. <laughs> if you choose them, it would be pretty drastic. <laughs> Just like Steelers, Nicker, Elastic. <laughs> and same question to number three. If I was going to go singing with you at a wedding or a bar mitzvah, I think we'd sing something from that famous film, Grease. Are you ready? I'm ready. I've got chills, they're multiplying. <laughs> and I'm losing control, cos the power you're supplying. It's electrifying! Oh. <laughs> yeah, he's good. That's good. Three different answers to your question there. Yes, they were very different. <laughs> and it's make your mind up, Tam. We're going to hear a quick reminder from our Paul. Paul! So, Laura, will it be poetic number one? The bonky bongoist who wants to share an intergalactic date with you and most likely your toothpaste too. <laughs> or will it be academic number two who would love to make sweet music with you even though he comes with a lot of history? Or will it be grease-loving number three, whose chills have multiplied so much, even Sotty's complaining about his cold hands? <laughs> Laura, the decision is yours. Well, you heard our call. The I decision think... is yours. I think we will go for number one. <laughs> Two that you turned down. Ooh. Oh, Laura, oh. you'll be so disappointed. <laughs> First of all, you turned down number two. How could you? That was Andre from London. Come in, Andre. You also turned down number three. Is Jeff? And he's from Cheshire. Come oh, in, Jeff. There's your blind day for this evening. You chose number one, and that was John from Leeds. Come in, John. <laughs> No, 
Absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> I was going to choose where you're going on your blind date. I'll choose. I'll choose. I'll choose. Definitely. Oh. <laughs> well, All right, well. darling. Yeah. <laughs> A dinner date in the dark. Oh, oh. let's see. What it says. <laughs> let's see what it says. Yes, you're off to dance. Yeah. Le Noir. You're going to have a date in the dark, Brilliant. in complete darkness. <laughs> and it says here, yes, it really will be a blind date. But the unfortunate thing, you don't have to come back next week and tell us. Ladies and gentlemen, oh. Richard Brown, Laura and oh. John. Actually, but they're going for a meal in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, for one night only, it's blind dates. Here is your host, Miss Silla Black.